In this section, we are going to look at the various features of Axure that you can use to collaborate with other UX designers and production team members and make working with stakeholders easier. We're going to cover annotating your work for specific audiences and the process of generating prototypes and specifications for each audience. We'll look at actshare.com, which you can use to share your prototypes quickly and easily via a public URL. We'll run through creating custom widget libraries, which allow your team to manage design components independent of any one particular project. And also team projects, which permit UX designers to work simultaneously on a project. We're going to first look at the notes feature built into Axure. After a basic overview, we'll look at how notes are generated as part of the published prototype and specifications documents. You can add notes to pages, page notes are down here, to widgets, dynamic panels, masters, and instances of masters, all objects, basically. Uh, you can customize your note fields to suit your own needs. We'll do that very shortly. One example I have used notes for is for writing descriptions of an interaction before prototyping because building interactions can be a time sink and you probably want to verify that it is suitable with stakeholders and other members of the team before investing time in prototyping. The default note field you can see here is a free text input but you can also have fixed values which the user must choose between. Page notes are useful for summarizing the scope of the interaction in the page as part of a larger user journey, ensuring the interactions in the page don't become too bloated. So one of the most powerful features of Axia is the ability to customize deliverables for different audiences. Let's take a look at the notes customizing possibilities. In an everyday average business environment that you're familiar with, you might have other UX designers, visual designers, You'd also have developers, stakeholders, project managers, copywriters, the list goes on. What we can do with Axure is create notes for specific audiences. Let's look at customizing notes. First, you'll find that there is customization available at both the page level and the widget level. Now imagine you want to create some notes for your visual designers and project managers. I'm going to write some quick notes about the home page slideshow widget for an example. Click on custom notes from the page notes palette. We're going to add a designer page note and a project manager page note. Click OK. Now when we toggle the page notes drop down, you'll see our new entries below the default page notes. Next, we toggle the page notes drop down to add notes relevant to the designer. And we do the same to the project manager entry. And now when we switch back and forth, we can see the notes for each audience type in the Axia user interface. This feature is really coming into its own when generating documentation. This is coming up. One of the issues with widget notes in 6.5 was that whilst you could create page notes for a certain audience, you couldn't do it so easily at the widget level. You can now do it with note sets. Let me demonstrate. Click on Customize from the Widget Notes pane to open the Widget Notes Fields and Sets dialog. In the Fields tab, you can see where you have the ability to create and edit different types of notes fields. Let's add a custom widget note of design styling for our hypothetical visual designers. It's plain text. Now let's add a custom note of assigned to. It's a select list and we'll add those involved in the project here. And add another field calling it status. And again, use a select list because we want choice from a predefined set of values. OK, so we may decide that only some of these fields are relevant to certain audiences. Whereas before, you couldn't choose to group a number of widget note fields for a specific audience. You can now do it with sets. And we'll create sets that will correlate to the audiences we defined in the custom page notes we created earlier. The first was designers, 
we're going to add our new custom designer specific field and we'll add the status field also we'll follow the same steps for the project management audience this time we'll add the status field and the assigned to field the project managers don't need to know about the design styling comments OK. You'll see a drop down in our widget note palette. In here, you'll find our new note sets, uh, designer and project manager. We can choose to filter our notes by this drop down. Then let's look at our designer notes and add some example text in our designer styling field. And let's sign this to Bobby. Let's choose a status uh, for our slideshow of must have. So this stuff really comes into its own when we want to generate some documentation that we want to share. We'll get onto that shortly, but first let's see how these notes are displayed when we preview the prototype. First up, page notes. Page notes are displayed in the window on the left hand side alongside our sitemap. What you can see here are our custom page notes displayed linearly. This is because the prototype preview is using default settings. We can choose just to show the designer or the project management notes in the prototype if we so desire. We'll look at customizing these settings in due course. Let's now just take a look at how we view widget notes from the prototype. You should see a little blue document icon. This indicates a widget has an annotation. Click this to view your widget note. We have a widget name at the top of our note. Below we find the note labels with the associated note text. By default the preview generates notes that have been added so we're seeing the designer and project manager notes mixed up. So far we've been using the preview feature to quickly output a basic prototype but we've just been creating documentation specific to different audiences what we will want to do now is generate prototypes for each specific audience. Now we're going to jump into the full prototype generation dialog and look at how we can create different generator configurations for different audiences.